On a night so dark and dreary, a woman feeling sad and weary, fled into the vast unknown, far from what had once been her home. Across a rocky shoreline she fled, uncertain where the rough path led. Because she was so very worried, she moved too fast in her hurry. She tripped upon a rock, stumbled, and down a steep hill she tumbled. For a while she remained still in the sandy dirt, uncertain how badly she was hurt. Upon a nearby cliff she saw a stranger and feared that she was in danger. Injured and alone she was easy prey for any evil doer who came that way. The stranger came down the hill and helped her stand. He calmed her with kind words, then brushed off the dirt and sand. Thank you for lending me a helping hand, she told the stranger, who fortunately was no danger. Nevertheless, it was getting very late, and she feared a tragic fate. Off this island she needed to flee, and be gone as soon as could be. All the boats are moored for the night, she gasped, as her despair reached a new height. She was about to give up and turn around, when she heard a little sound. It was the sound of water splashing. Against the nearby wooden pier, some waves were lapping. She was surprised to see a sailing skiff still upon the sea. So wept it against the shining moon, a lone sailor in the skiff appeared none too soon. Sir, to the mainland, could you make one more run tonight? I'll pay you well. For your trouble, I'll make it right. The man smiled and replied, Yes, there's always time for one more run even if my passengers only number one. In bright moonlight, the sea seemed to glow and was wonderfully serene. It seemed almost like a dream. Upon reaching the far shore, she thanked the man who declined the money in her hand. This was directly along my way. Save your money for another day. After saying goodbye, the woman departed as another long walk started. Somehow she knew the direction that she should go. How she knew where, she did not know. Perhaps as a child she had been there once or twice before. In her mind's eye she saw a door. As she sought the sanctuary, she glanced about, watchful and wary. She passed through a dark valley in which she sensed doom. Everywhere danger seemed to loom. Shadowy figures came swiftly out of the night. They were indeed a terrible sight. Nightmares had become all too real, and she feared her fate was sealed. The predators headed toward her. Then, suddenly, they stopped and turned around, disappearing into the night without a sound. I must look tougher than I am. Somehow I got out of quite a jam. She laughed with relief and joy. Happy as a child with a new toy, she was very pleased and finished her long walk with ease. She entered a small town. It was almost dawn, but people were not yet up and around. A colorful cottage caught her eye, and she gave a profound sigh. She approached and knocked on the door, uncertain what was next in store. The door opened without hesitation, and she felt a thrilling sensation. A man stood there, tall and strong. She realized that she had been expected all along. His face was one that all persons knew. Handsome, wise, good, kind, and true. The woman had a sudden epiphany. For the first time, she could truly see and understand. With profound joy, she beheld the man. He then told her, I was the stranger who helped you near the cliff. I was the boatman in the skiff. The evildoers in the dark valley fled from me. I was the friend whom you could not see. I am your first and foremost friend. I am the beginning and the end. It was to me that your journey led. There never was cause for dread. 
It seemed as though I was not there, and you were burdened with many cares. It was I who prompted you to set out on your way, who guided you here, and now invite you to stay. I am the way, the truth, the life, and the light. It was I whom you sought for many, many nights. Come, sister, daughter, and dear friend, share in my life without end. I'm sorry, the sweetest music.